National Educator. Hello learners, welcome to our business studies, form one. Our topic of discussion today is production. Our objectives of today are stated, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to discuss the characteristics of the factors of production. Factors of production. We need to know what are these factors of production and are productive resources capable of producing more goods and services. They include one, land, two, labor, three, capital, and four, entrepreneurship. So we are going to discuss each one of these factors as an individual. We start off with land. So we have to define what land is and includes all the resor natural resources found in the earth, on the earth, and above the earth. With that illustration, Lana, you can see that is land. From the green vegetation to the soils, the hills, above there is the sky, the clouds. All those are resources. We can only see what is on the land and above. We can't see what is below the earth because we are not mining. We now need to look at the characteristics of land. The first characteristics of land is that it is a basic factor of production. That means all the resources we get them from land. Without it, then we cannot do any production aspect. Land gives us the raw materials, the minerals, the energy, like wind energy, water energy, and all that. So we all need this land uh, for production. So that's why it is a basic factor. Land is a natural resource. Natural resource because it is a gift of nature given by God. Man did not create it. So that's why it is a natural resource. Her supply is fixed. The way God created it, that's the way the land is. We only manipulate it. We are not able to increase the land in size or in depth or in whatever kind. We found it there and that's how it is, fixed as it is. Land cannot move geographically. That's why we say lacks geographical mobility. Geographical mobility means that we cannot transfer a piece of land from a place like, let's say, Nairobi to a place in Moyale. We cannot transfer land from Western Kenya to Central Kenya. No, we can't. So that land cannot move. Land has occupational mobility. What we mean by occupational mobility is that we can change its form using it from one productive aspect to another. Land that was used for agriculture can now be used for construction of houses. That is, occupation has changed from farming to construction. Or we can also change it to make it that we have a road or a bridge. So we are making changes. So that change is what is called occupational mobility. Land is not homogeneous. That means the quality of land at a particular place that you are is not the same or uniform with the other piece of land. This gives us the land that we say land is rocky in an area, a lot of rocks. There's the other piece of land where there are minerals, there's another piece of land where it's good soils for agriculture. There's another piece of land that is swampy or has clay soil. So that uniformity is not there. That's why we say it lacks uniformity or 
the quality is not homogeneous.